What is going on Radar Force? Today I am going to start doing manga chapters. This is my first time doing a manga chapter review for Dragon Ball Super. We're starting with uh, the chapter that just came out about five to six days ago. Uh, that is chapter 71 in the Granola arc. So let's get right into this and see what we can do. But uh, keep in mind this is my first time so it could be changes. Let me know what you think I should do differently next time. But until then guys let's jump right into this. So as a quick recap in the last chapter, um, I have been keeping up with the Moro arc and the Granola arc. Uh, in the last chapter, Granola wished to be the strongest in the universe, as you guys probably know. And uh, the Heaters, which are the guys that want Granola dead, are going to try to reach Goku and Vegeta to take down Granola. Uh, so anyways, that's going to uh, leave us off right where we're going to begin it in this chapter. So the beginning of this chapter is just Goku and Vegeta training on Beerus' planet. Whis tells Goku that the difference between himself and the angels is that angels are an ultra instinct all of the time, as to Goku only can transform into the mastered form. Uh, Whis tells Goku that he needs to master it in base form to reduce stamina issues, and he also tells him to only transform into ultra instinct as a last resort in battle. Whis informs Goku and Vegeta that they have limited time to train because something major has happened in the universe, aka Granola. He is the strongest in the universe due to a wish, uh, which cut his lifespan to three years. Uh, now if things move forward onto Granola's side of the things. Meanwhile, Granola is waiting on his ship so he can get a call to where Frieza is so he can finally get his revenge against Frieza and the Saiyans. Uh, Granola is also keeping an eye on the old Namekian that helped him get his wish on Planet Serial, and I'm not sure what's going on with the Namekian. I don't think they said anything that he was sick or anything, but the Namekian looks very distressed, and I don't know if he's dying or what, because you know if he dies, I'm sure the Dragon Balls will disappear on Planet Serial. I don't know if Granola's wish has caused uh, problems with him. I, I'm not sure what's going on, but something is going on if they went as far to show an image of him breathing heavy or whatever. So something's going on with him, not sure what, but he could be dying. Meanwhile, the haters are planning to trick Goku and Vegeta into killing Granola, and the way they're going to do this is to ask Zuno about Goku and Vegeta's weaknesses. Uh, also this guy named Gas was upset that he didn't get a chance to fight Granola, and apparently he is really strong because uh, they said he is the only one in his family to be able to surpass Frieza. Weird. Uh, so I guess we're going to see a massive battle between him eventually. Maybe. I don't know. But apparently he's very strong and yeah, he's going to do something in this arc. 100%. So it cuts back to Goku and Vegeta training and we don't know how much time has passed but Goku is already using Ultra Instinct in base form. Like, geez bro, Dragon Ball Super skips all of the training episodes like... Who else like Goku and Gohan training in the time chamber? That was like my favorite episode. It's like watching them learn, struggle, and freaking overcome. But now it just skips all that and instantly goes to them figuring it out. Uh, I mean, also, Vegeta is still learning the Kai and he's able to destroy bigger and better rocks and tree stumps or whatever he's destroying. Logs. So the heaters finally arrive on Earth and confront Chi Chi. And I was super nervous reading this because I was thinking like Goku's weakness might have been family or something and that they were going to kill Chi Chi or something like that. But no, that didn't actually happen, thankfully, I guess. Uh, they just want Chi Chi to summon Goku, so they end up getting Bulma to call Whis and get their attention. And basically they tell them they want Goku and Vegeta to help defeat the strongest villain in the universe and that he's, he's destroyed many lives and everything like that, which is a lie. They're just trying to trick Goku and Vegeta to do their work for them, uh, which also makes me wonder if like Goku and Vegeta are gonna know that Granola is not evil. I don't know. He was able to tell Brawl he wasn't evil, so like I mean I'm sure like Goku is not stupid, but then again he is stupid. I don't know. We'll see how that goes. Hopefully they won't they won't mess that up. But yeah, so they're getting them to do their bidding, and that's it. And what's really cool next is that Beerus and Whis are kind of competing with their two pupils. Uh, Beerus gives Vegeta a God of Destruction earring type thing, which basically says that you can use Destruction or the Hakai. Uh, and Whis signs Goku's Gi with the mark of an angel or whatever his emblem is, you know, in Japan, Japanese or whatever. Uh, but yeah, that's really cool. Um, so like, Vegeta's like a God of Destruction and Goku's like an angel, but not really because they both denied 
those positions multiple times in the show, so I don't know what they're really trying to do here, but, you know, it is, it is cool. It's very cool. Meanwhile on Earth, the heaters freaking find the Dragon Radar and search for the Dragon Balls, and, well, they can't find them due to the Dragon Balls being turned to stone due to the last wish. But what's really wild here is that they plan on hunting the Dragon Balls on Planet Serial. They point out that those Dragon Balls don't turn into stone after being used. So you can basically keep reusing them. Freaking weird. But that's awesome. I like how there's differences between all the Dragon Balls. Between the Earth, Namekian, Serial, and the Super Dragon Balls. That's really awesome. Change of things up. Uh, anyways, Goku and Vegeta finally arrive on Earth and they're leaving the heater ship to Planet Serial to meet Granola. So, the journey to Serial will take 18 days. Uh, meanwhile, Goku wants to eat. Uh, Vegeta is training in some kind of like spaceship pool or whatever. Uh, anyways, so the heaters contact Granola and tell him that they have two of Frieza's members heading straight to him and that they are Saiyans. So, needless to say, Granola is more than pumped to destroy Goku and Vegeta and to get revenge on Frieza. But yeah guys, that is it for this chapter of Dragon Ball Super, and I am really, really enjoying this arc a lot. Some things are a little too fast paced, but overall the story is amazing. I just wish they would slow down the training portions and stuff like that, because it's not as... It doesn't catch your attention, and it doesn't feel as special when they are just able to learn it just like that and progress. You like I like to see build up and like struggle, and that makes it all the more better when they go through that long period of training instead of just, oh, they've mastered Ultra Instinct in base form in the Hakai. But anyways, other than that, this, this story is going very good. I'm very excited to see where it goes next. Uh, but next time on Dragon Ball Super Manga, they'll probably be fighting Granola. So be hyped for that. And guys, I'll see you next month with another manga review. Until then, guys, uh, subscribe to the channel and uh, check out other, other of my videos. I do... Uh, Dragon Ball Media uh, collection reviews. I do Dragon Ball gaming videos. Uh, anything related to Dragon Ball. So check that out, guys. And if you plan on uh, subscribing, uh, I appreciate that a lot. Uh, leave a like and a comment below. Let me know how you like this uh, chapter review because I, I, this is my first one. Uh, and anyways, guys, I appreciate everything you guys do. You guys are awesome. I'll see you guys later.